Netflix's Hitman provides a humorous glimpse into the life of an unlikely undercover agent, loosely inspired by a true story. The film stars Glenn Powell as Gary Johnson, a college professor who accidentally starts working as a fake hitman, capturing those who try to hire him for murder. The plot thickens when he falls for a young woman, trying to escape her abusive husband during one of his missions, complicating his life further. Directed by Richard Linklater, the movie has received positive reviews for its screenplay, direction, and the performances of Powell and his co-star Audrey Arjona. Critics have particularly praised Hitman's engaging story, which sees Gary Johnson getting caught up in a series of increasingly outrageous situations. The film's climax is made even more intriguing by revealing that it is based on a real person, prompting viewers to wonder about the blend of reality and fiction in Netflix's portrayal. One significant question about the true story behind Hitman is the nature of Gary Johnson's relationship with Madison. Although Madison doesn't appear in the first act of the film, her romance with Gary soon becomes central to the narrative. The dramatized plot elements, including the additional killings by Madison and Gary, stem from their relationship. This raises curiosity about whether their relationship was real or fictionalized like many other aspects of the film. It turns out that the romantic elements in Hitman are heavily embellished. In the original article about Johnson's work, it is mentioned that a woman contacted him to kill her abusive husband. This detail is briefly noted as the beginning of his undercover career. However, Hitman portrays the relationship as the heart of the story. This approach aligns with Richard Linklater's style, which often blends romance and comedy, and Hitman is no exception, although it is presented with a heightened sense of fantasy. Hitman offers a darkly comedic look into the life and work of Gary Johnson, but provides little information about his life afterward. The end credits of Hitman share some details about Gary's life, mostly from before he went undercover. Sadly, one of the few known facts about Gary's life after the events portrayed in Hitman is his death in 2022. Gary fell ill shortly after production began, but managed to discuss the adaptation of his life with Linklater before his passing. Although Gary had some input in the film's production, his illness led to his death at age 75, marking a tragic end to his story. The events in Hitman, albeit loosely based on reality, highlight that his life was far from ordinary. The film's final moments are dedicated to Gary Johnson's memory, concluding an extraordinary story about an apparently ordinary man. Through the film, audiences can view a dramatized version of Johnson's life encouraging them to learn more about this fascinating individual and solidifying his legacy. So what do you think about Hitman's romance? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. I will see you next.